The able gentleman from Tennessee, Steve Cohen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director Mueller, uh, Mr. Wexler was asking you about some illegal tactics that, that the FBI did not engage in. You said you followed the protocol. Does the protocol include informing other agencies that you believe what they were doing was illegal? Uh, excuse me just a second. Uh, Can this time not be counted against me? I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. What was the question again? Stop the clock, Beulah. Uh, did did uh, the protocol, you say, you yes. wouldn't engage in torture. But did, when you find out that other agencies may be engaged in torture that you believe is illegal, does your protocol include informing those agencies that you believe their actions are illegal? Yes. Who did you inform in that situation? Over, uh, at uh, points in time, we had reached out to uh, DOD and DO Justice and, uh, and uh, DOJ in terms of uh, activity that we uh, were concerned uh, might not be appropriate. Let me put it that way. And do you inform both the Department of Defense and Department of Justice? At, 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 during the, the period of time in question, after 2000, you, say 2002, there have been times when we have done that, yes. And do, do you have, can you supply us with copies of those letters or memoranda? I'd have to uh, get back to you on that. We'd appreciate it if you would. I'd like to request yeah. you to do that. And what was their response to you? Again, I'm not certain to what extent this is classified. I'd have to get back to you on that on any event. If you could give us the responses as well, I'd like to know which agencies did not listen to you, Director, and engaged in torture. I think that would be very important for this committee to know if there's departments of defense or justice or any or CIA that don't listen to the Director of, of the FBI. Well, the uh, another factor that. Uh, 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 I think is recognized in this the, 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 what constitutes appropriate uh, behavior under circumstances where other agencies is subject to legal opinions from the Department of Justice. Yes, sir, I understand and that. So I agree with we you. would we would uh, over a period of time say, look, we have noticed behavior that may be questionable and reported to the agency. That particular agency may be governed by uh, legal opinions that are not applicable to us. Yes, sir. But if I would listen to your opinion first. Uh, you have a great agent in Memphis, Mai Harrison, and she's done a phenomenal job. Uh, she's uh, convicted or brought prosecutions and juries and judges found guilty, many public officials, many of whom were African American. Uh, you say 1,800 officials have been prosecuted over a period of time. Two years. Do you have statistics to show that there's not a racial bias? Do not. Could you, can you, do you have a racial bias? I'm not certain breakdown? we keep that. Uh, I would be surprised if we kept any such uh, statistic. Is there any statistic that shows how many were Democrats and Republicans to show if there's a political that. bias? We are non-political. I think if you are fair and look across, you'll see that uh, regardless of political affi affiliation, you have any number from various parties in that, uh, that 1,800 figure. A uh, Agent Harrison was able through uh, very outstanding work to have an indictment brought against a man in, in, in Tennessee who had killed uh, Shelby County Codes Enforcement Officer named Mickey Wright. The circumstances death were such, and the proof that the uh, Attorney General uh, pled to a second degree uh, murder or manslaughter 15 years, and that was not sufficient for taking this man's life. Uh, through her diligent work, she was able to charge a hate crime because he was a government official. But if he weren't a government official, she couldn't have gotten the U.S. attorney to present to the grand jury and for them to return an indictment of a hate crime, where there's a possibility of additional punishment for this man's murdering Mickey Wright. Uh, are you a supporter of the hate crime legislation that went through that would give you more power to enforce hate crimes? I, I'd have to look at uh, the particular legislation before I give an opinion as to whether we could support it or not. It's the one that's already passed the House. Pardon? It's the one that's already passed the House. It gave more power to the federal government to go after hate crimes? I'd, I'd have to specifically look at it before I could render an opinion. Okay. Uh, do you, if, if a person takes a corpse across state lines to avoid prosecution or to avoid a discovery of the crime and the facts otherwise don't constitute a federal crime as they wouldn't here 